Hi, welcome to my video. And to this, the Intel's new Celeron G5920. It's the latest uh, low-end offering from Intel. Uh, I believe they actually make a G5920, which is uh, slightly slower on the clock speed. Uh, but this is the world's fastest ever Celeron. Uh, it's on Intel's latest temp gen LGA200 platform. Uh, retails in the UK for about £35. Uh, at the moment, at present, I bought this for 36 delivered. Uh, it's a two core, two thread processor. Um, yeah, two cores and two threads in 2020. Uh, it's got a 3.5 gigahertz clock speed, two megabyte of cache, and uh, Intel's uh, UHD 610 onboard graphics, uh, which aren't going to be, be uh, of much cop in today's uh, world. In fact, actually, this this processor is probably not going to be much cop. Uh, but, you know, I see something like this and I think, mm, what can it do? Um, certainly, as well, if you're on, on a LGA 1200 build, you know, buy yourself a decent motherboard or a, a mid-spec motherboard, you know, you can put this processor in to get you off the ground and upgrade later to, to, to maybe a, an i5 or even an i7 if you're budget affords um, but yeah let's open it see what we've got inside so, a bit of bump there the usual uh -huh. well at least I don't have to claim my PC has a seller on in it uh, we have an Intel inside sticker maybe they were ashamed of uh, making a seller on sticker we will never know but that's nice nice to see might just stick that on my my pc anyway and in the case got the standard intel stock cooler i don't mind these coolers they're quite efficient and uh, it certainly keeps my i3 9100f cool uh, i mean that barely goes above 60 60 degrees under full load so they they sort of do what they they do what they were made for you know they keep these chips relatively cool and uh, I mean it will do until you upgrade if you want to upgrade I mean certainly you wouldn't consider upgrading if you were using this for general office use general home PC use which will be more than adequate for and we have the the socket. Like I said, I bought this as an experiment really. I'm currently building uh, an i5 build uh, with a with a, a Mizzy Bazooka B64M motherboard. Uh, that's the base of it. I just thought I'd chuck this in and see what it can do uh, in the meantime. You know, I like a challenge. Uh, it would certainly be more than capable of general day-to-day -day tasks and running some old games. Uh, it might even run some new games. Uh, we'll we'll have to wait and see for that. Uh, I'll probably pair it with a nice graphics card and uh, see what it can do in another video. Uh, but that's it. We have the Celeron G5290. Hope you've enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching.